targeted, lied to, or scammed, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that's going wrong right. Better call Bacon. A Spring Hill man needed a new air conditioner. The AC company he called in February presented a proposal for energy efficient upgrades to his whole house. Well, now Steve Maniaki is on the hook for more than $37,000, even though the work is incomplete. And the kicker here the bill is attached to his property taxes, and he has no choice but to start forking over the dollars. So he knew he'd better call banking and get to the bottom of this. So, so what's the story? That sounds like an awful lot of money. It is, and it's a very complicated case, Keith. I've been mm -hmm. digging into this paperwork now for weeks, and I found that this contractor should have never been paid for this job, and now he's in the hot seat. That's the new unit. And this Steve Maniaki wanted a new air conditioner. Air Masters of Hernando County sold him a lot more. He said, and you do this, one time, you, if you're going to you know, get this done, you can get anything to help your house as long as it's to improve the home, like your doors, your windows. Like the selling point that closed the deal, he could finance the whole project through a federal program called PACE. The price is just added on as a special assessment on property taxes each year until it's paid off, and no payments until a year after the work is done. Steve opted to add a new pool pump, new front doors, and insulation. It sounded good. Nothing was coming out of my pocket. Shortly after the AC and pool pump and part of the insulation was put in, Steve tells me work stalled. No one would call. So by the end of the week, I start calling him. Angel, are you coming? He'd blow me off. No answer, no nothing. The whole weekend goes by. Never saw him, never heard from him. That is when he realized he was in trouble. He called the finance company Y Green. She goes to tell me that um, this job was already completed. It turns out he didn't realize one of the forms he signed in February stated that all the work was done. This triggered Wiregreen to pay Air Masters in full, and that means Steve has to start paying on the loan through his taxes on this November's bill. Do you feel deceived? Totally. Something's not right here, so I called Air Masters owner Angel Diaz. But do they pay you before you're finished doing the work? I was told it's all a misunderstanding and the job will be finished any day now. Well, that call was more than a week ago and nothing has happened at Steve's house. I reached out to Y Green Energy Fund, the lender on this project, and was told that this is, quote, an unacceptable instance of contractor abuse of both the PACE program and the homeowner. And as a result, Y Green has cut ties with this contractor. But company officials tell me they are going to help this homeowner. In fact, Wire Green sent another contractor to Steve's home this morning to review the work that needs to be done. And a Wire Green vice president tells me that they're willing to pay for that to help make this whole. Well, they should. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's part of what they were hired to do. Uh, but what about inspections? I mean, that's a lot of work this guy had done here. Did anybody come and sign off on it? No. He did get a permit for part of the work, but nobody came to sign off on it. And the county is investigating this contractor for two other cases, hmm. looking at licensing and permitting issues. And now they're investigating Steve's case as well. So there's right. a lot still to be done here. Mm -hmm. A lot to learn here from yes, that story as well. Absolutely. Thank you, Shannon. If you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Bankin. The telephone number, 1-855-BANKIN.